G'day guys, or well, welcome back to Spacey's Arcade. Now guys, this isn't a you know short form tutorial about how to install Visual Pinball. Uh, if you want something like that, this isn't the video for you. Um, in actual fact, it's really hard to get just one type of install video done because each time someone says, how do I install Visual Pinball? It's always like, well, how are you going to use it? What are you doing? <laughs> so like a, you're doing it on the desktop, you've got a pin cab, you want VR, you know, have you got all the extra toys? Is that what you're going to do or is it a basic install? There's so many options and variables, guys, which is why it can seem pretty confusing on the outset, um, especially when you're just trying to dive in. You see all these great visual pinball tables running, you, you want to get started with it and it seems like it's really difficult. So look, I'm hoping that um, this video, which has actually been spawned by an email I did receive from uh, our good friends over at the Blarcade podcast. So Chris sent me through a, a, an email and he's, he's sort of got a typical scenario, guys, in terms of wanting to get into VPX and he's got some typical questions. So I thought, hey, why not answer his questions in this sort of conversational video guys and hopefully it absolutely helps Chris out but also you guys out there that just want to know more about Visual Pinball and the parts to it because I think that's one of the biggest things that's useful to know is when you look at all these quite foreign terms that's in the Visual Pinball world it can seem really daunting confusing if you don't know what those things do. And so I'm really hoping in this video that I can explain what are these key parts to the programs, get you to have a bit of an understanding of that, so that when you do go and do your install, when Chris does his install, he'll sort of know a little bit more about what he's doing, why he's doing it, and if he comes up with any problems or errors, then he should sort of know where to go a little bit easier. So he's getting an At Games Legends pinball cabinet, and he's looking to now dive back into VPX as another option of playing pinball on that cabinet. He's got a PC that he's got ready to go, uh, and he's just trying to work out well, what do I need to do? <laughs> what do I need to? Where do I start with VPX these days? He dabbled around in VP uh, uh, Visual Pinball 8 uh, when that was brand new, so that was a while ago, Chris. So anyway, so he's looking at sort of downloading what he needs to download to get his PC ready to then plug into the uh, the At Games Legend pinball so he can do the VPX stuff. Uh, and he's like, yeah, what do I do? <laughs> Where do I start? And it's a damn good question, Chris. So let's get started. And one thing he did mention also is that he keeps saying this reference to the baller installer. So that's where we're going to start. If you do do a search on Baller Installer, you'll get to this page of the Nailbuster site. And when you get here, guys, I must admit, when, when you're a new user, it's a lot, seems like a lot of information here. And again, it can seem a little, little foreign. The guys here have done an amazing job at, at getting a lot of information up here about doing installs. But I don't want to get into the depths of the installs and all the good tutorial videos they've got there because I think the fundamentals behind it is what's important um, to start with. And that's what this video is about, guys. Let's just talk about the basics, get a good understanding of that. So what's in this baller installer? There's a number of programs here. Um, and so I just wanted to touch on those quickly. So if, again, for people that just really just don't know, Visual Pimple Works, right, that's your main program. That has the actual tables that you can actually load up. Now those tables, when you run them up, um, don't do anything unless they're actually either attached to a ROM or the tables themselves have their own scripts and so forth internally within them. And so some tables don't need a ROM. So some of the original tables, for example, don't need a ROM. So if you have a pinball, visual pinball X table, and then you have a, a ROM, the two need to talk to each other. Well, the way that they talk to each other is the second program on this list, which is visual pin main. And you may have heard of MAME in terms of emulating ROMs in the video game sphere. Well, Visual Pin MAME is a way of um, having those pinball ROMs um, executing and running. And the visual part of it is the connection through to Visual Pinball X. And the two talk to each other and bang, you can play your pinball game. So fundamentally, funnily enough, those two programs are pretty much the bare bones. You could actually run up a program with that, uh, run up a pinball uh, and, and play it. So if we go down the list now in terms of what else is included in this installer, it's going to give you the Visual Pimble X, which we talked about. That's your core program. It's got the, the Visual Pimble main for the ROMs. 
the BetaOS server is also an application, this wasn't mentioned there, but the B2S server allows animated back glasses. So, um, how do you get the back glass to animate as part of that particular table? Well, the table will use a separate program called B2S server, and then you'll actually have a separate file that you download for the back glass, and then that will trigger it up, and then you'll have animated back glasses. The pinup player, um, and you would you'll hear these terms called pup packs. To put video and other cool stuff on the back glass of the pinball machine. It's not essential, but it's something that you might want to have, and some tables will say that it requires pinup. Uh, and, and there'll be a pup pack that you'll download separately, and that pup pack will have all that video and stuff in it that plays on your back glass typically. So that's the pinup player. The pinup popper front end, you know, that you could have on a, a, a pinball cabinet, for example and it's fully feature rich. Now there is another front end for, for launching tables, sorry guys. There's another front end that you can um, that you can use called Pimble X, which is the one that I've been using for years. I haven't actually run up Pimble pin up um, popper, uh, but that's only because my Pimble X front end works fine and I didn't want to recreate it when it was all working good. But I, I do believe there's a lot more functionality and some pretty special whiz bang stuff. So you want to go down that road you can uh, for your front end, uh, otherwise you might want to look at Pimble X. The other one that's been really uh, good for me is the uh, VP Launcher, which was actually for VR, but the latest version has a 2D mode, and so you can put it in 2D. It's a really simple launcher. Um, it detects all your tables that you have, it downloads all the artwork, it creates little 3D models and you can just flick between it, start up a table and off you go. Alright, so we're getting through the list. The next one is called DMD EXT and it's by a person called Freezy. Now DMD is the dot matrix display, that is the DMD. And the EXT is um, it's an external component, right? So what this allows you to do is to do a few things. You can actually send that dot matrix display um, from Visual Pin Main out to different devices. Like you could have a real dot matrix display and you can send your DMD to that piece of hardware. So it's really quite nice if you've got a pin cabinet. Um, you can actually send that DMD to a nice dot matrix display, so it looks really good. I've got one of those on my pin cabinet as well. It also does a, a virtual version of that, and it allows you to do things like um, uh, send colorized uh, ROMs to either a internal uh, screen-based DMD or out to a hardware-based DMD. And so that's just, an, again, extra levels of functionality. You don't have to have colorized ROMs or run those, but as you get more used to Visual Pin MAME and all the things that you can do with it, that's just one extra thing you can do, and the DMD EXT program will allow you to do that. All right, so that's DMD EXT. Now, Flex um, DMD is an interesting one. So there used to be a program called Ultra DMD, and I think it is referenced further down in the document, and that was basically for people that wanted to create a dot matrix display for one of their original tables that didn't have a ROM. And so it was an, sort of a nice easy way to create that sort of dot matrix display that you have, um, but without a ROM. And so that program, Ultra DMD, was made to do that. It's been superseded by this new program called Flex DMD. It just does it better. I think the performance is a lot better uh, as well. And that means that that piece of program, that Flex DMD, you need to have that installed to run any table that says it requires Flex DMD. The next one is Future Pinball um, with BAM. And I'm not going to cover Future Pimple guys because I haven't been, I haven't used Future Pimple for a long time. All I'll say is that Future Pimple it stopped in terms of its development years and years and years ago. Um, but then through this add-on called BAM, they were able to add additional functionality and physics changes and all sorts of stuff, um, which gave it a whole added lease of life. And so there's still people developing for it. 
Me personally, I really, really just enjoy and love all the VPX tables, but having said that, there's some pretty special tables, and Terry Red's done some pretty amazing stuff uh, with some of the pin event stuff that he's got uh, going. But that's all in the future pinball world, guys. And all I would suggest to you is that if you're going to go down this road, I would just start with VPX and get all that going. If you want to then go a little bit further and venture into future pinball and then get into the, the pin event stuff that Terry's got, I would do that as a secondary thing. All right, guys, so hopefully that wasn't too confusing. This isn't scripted, obviously, so I'm just telling it from what I know. And there was one other thing that not mentioned here but it was on the previous page, and that was DOF and DOF Link seems to right into the whole cabinet side of things uh, with these programs. And so DOF is the direct output framework, guys, and um, what they've done there is they have got a way of capturing all the key events that happen on a particular table. Uh, again, like solenoids going off if the, if the ball hits the bumper. And then through a separate program called DOF Links. DOF Links can then actually fire off your um, pieces of hardware to make those sounds like the, the, the bumpers are going off. So it just gives you that tactile force feedback. So yeah, so DOF itself is just all the configuration files and you can get that off a website and download those, um, uh, those configurations. There's like an update configuration for all tables. You just download that once and then you're all set, and then DOF links needs to be running, and then that actually will then trigger off your hardware within your pinball cabinet. So there's no harm in installing all of this that comes with a baller installer. It's a one-click thing, you can just go through and, and follow the prompts, and it's a nice way to get everything running uh, quickly, even if you don't use some of the other elements. Yeah. What I did notice is because you'll see that there is some versions here. Okay, we've got um, Visual Pinball. Uh, X or 10, uh, VPX being 10.7.0. Now these versions are continually incrementing, it's continually under development. That probably was the last stable version. And there's also Visual Pimple MAME. These are important, these version numbers, uh, things get updated and things can break if you don't have the right versions working with each other. And typically if you're going for the later versions uh, of each program, then you should be set. However, with Visual Pimple, because the amount of pace of development, guys, is, is going so fast, uh, you'll find that there's a whole load of beta builds um, that are happening, um, or beta builds for you guys in the US, uh, and, and, they, and they are beyond the, the release that's come out, and some tables require some of these beta beta um, versions. And so you can get those directly from GitHub, and I am going to show you how to get all these pieces of software from the various GitHub locations. It's good to know where those things are. It's really easy actually nowadays. You can just go straight to GitHub for, for these core parts of the Visual Pimple setup. Um, and it means you don't necessarily have to navigate through the forums and so forth to get those updates. Just go straight to the GitHub locations and download the ones that you want. So. What we will find in relation to these versions is just up here further in the document, um, and I had to have a laugh. Under the download installer, it's got, if starting out today, I'd highly recommend using the Baller Beta Build Bonanza version. <laughs> Guys, you're killing me. You're killing me, all right? So, um, all right, so November 2023. So let's go click on that, guys. And here we go, the baller installer, beta builds bonanza. <laughs> and what this is about effectively is a couple of things. There are two versions, a 32-bit and a 64-bit. Some of the later tables, uh, more recent tables guys, are requiring the 64-bit of Visual Pinball to be running. Most of the tables, you know, from the older set uh, are 32-bit. Now, why is that important? Well, literally, you have to run the separate executable uh, for a table that requires 64-bit as opposed to 32. Plus, because remember, Visual Pimple 10 is interfacing um, with Visual Pin MAME, Visual Pin MAME has to be 32 or 64-bit as well, and you can install 
both of those. There is that little sort of gotcha that's sort of working its way in, so that's the first thing. The second thing here is that you'll see that it's got a little version number at the end of it here saying v version 10.8 beta nightly. And so they're doing some <clears throat> nightly releases um, which you can actually access from the, uh, the from GitHub. And so if you do need a, a, a later version, and as I said, when you're downloading a table, it may specifically say this table was designed with this version 10.8 beta, and then you know, it might have a number after it to denote this, the specific beta that it is. So that's probably the key thing in relation to this beta build for what we're talking about. You can see there's also a pinup player beta there, um, which is you know, which again might be useful for the, some of those ones that need pup packs that require the, the beta version of Pinup Player. Uh, but the pup, again, the popper front end, well, if you're using the front end, you could get the beta of that here, um, the DMD EXT, and, uh, and then we've got Flex DMD, and hopefully I haven't confused you on the way through, more than likely have. Um, but again, if we just roll back a little bit, it's not difficult when you come back to the core elements of just the Visual Pinball X uh, and having pin MAME and the ROMs um, and then potentially, you know, DMD, EXT and Flex DMD depending on the table and then adding those pup packs and the pin-up player. But that's going to install everything, guys, that you, you would need, uh, all those individual components. So it is actually a really good place to start. And even, as I said, even if you're not using all the components for the particular front end. I think we, what we should do now is I'll show you the GitHubs. All right, so I've just gone to the GitHub here for vPinball. On the right hand side, you'll see that there's some releases. And you'll see that it says the latest is 10.7.3. And so my suggestion is, is because there's so many tables now that use a lot of the beta releases, is just go into the extra releases here. But if I click in here now, we've now got a full list here of all the downloads. So if we look at the names on here, there's a couple of things just that you need to understand. So you can see in here where it says 10.8.0, it's got 1836. So that's the beta build number. Then we've got the we've got debug versions, which we don't need to worry about, and we've got release versions. And then we, it looks like we've got the same thing again, debug and release. Well, that's because on the left-hand side here, you see it's got vPinball X GL. So these GL ones are the ones you would download if you are like me and playing VR. If you're just using it on a pinball cabinet like Chris is going to do, then you would need the uh, this release here, the 64-bit and the 86, which is the 32-bit. And... When you do download those, again, I'm not going to go through all, all, I don't want to get into the details of all the files and stuff, guys, just trying to explain what everything is. But when you do, when you open those zips up, it'll have a, a full set of stuff with some subdirectories, and I think there are shaders and bits and pieces now, so you just copy that whole thing just straight over the top of your existing um, Visual Pinball uh, directory and replace the files, and you're good to go. That's as easy as it is to upgrade um, Visual Pinball X once you've got your initial one installed. All right, so that's the first one. The next one we should go have a look at is probably Visual Pin Main. Rightio, so we are here at the GitHub um, for vPinball Pin Main, and it's actually called Pin Main. Let's explain that in a minute. And so you've got Vin Pain, Pin Main 3.5 latest. And so again, I do recommend that you get the latest beta so that you're current with all tables. So we've got this uh, one at the top here, 3.6. You could. Uh, hop in here and download this and you can see that pin MAME is actually supported off through a whole load of different systems we want the v, uh, v pin MAME versions and make sure you don't choose the pin MAME versions because none of those are any good for visual pinball we want the ones that are going to be executables and the key files to run so it's going to be these two here guys all right, so that's those two. Let's go now and look for uh, Flex DMD. It's a similar sort of thing. And this, this time we've got 190 is the latest and all the rest of the previous versions, guys. So pretty easy here uh, to just download this and, um, and install that. 
so yeah, so that's Flex DMD. Um, the other one is the DMD EXT Freezies mod. So let's take you there. Okay, here we are. Freezy DMD extensions releases. And we've got, I've got straight into here and version 2.2.1 is the latest. And I'll let you know what's going on there. There are some MSI files which you can run both again 64 and 86 for the 32 bit. Uh, if you download the MSI versions, then that's just a straight installer, or you can have it as the files uh, and they get extracted into a directory, and then you can copy those files over your existing uh, DMD EXT uh, installation folder. So Guys, I think we'll probably leave it there for this video. I'm sure I've probably... You've got more questions now <laughs> than maybe what I've answered. You know, I'm, I'm sure when I go back and watch this, I'll be like, oh, I should have explained this and that, and probably a lot better, but it's a start at least. If you do like this sort of thing, even just sort of conversational thing to help out way I've configured stuff, Find it helpful let me know you know what guys in the comments below if i've said something wrong or you need some more explanation please correct me and put that in the comments as well to help out chris and others um, but i do hope that it was useful for some of you all right let's leave it there guys i will see you in the next video until then ciao for now